The Premier League season's almost here, so it's time to rank the 20 Premier League home kits for the 2019-20 season. Coming up. Hello good people, thank you for tuning in to another video on this channel and today I thought I'd do a different type of video, one that I've not done before and I thought I'd kind of rank the 20 Premier League home kits for the uh, forthcoming season. Before we get started I just want to say congratulations to Carl over from the channel 100% Mags. He won my very first 3 minute quick quiz and he won uh, a mitre football uh, so congratulations to Carl and go and check out his channel particularly if you're a Newcastle United supporter. So, on with this list thing, and starting from number 20, going all the way to number 1, let's go. Okay, so starting at number 20, the worst kit in the Premier League, and there was some good competition this year for this, I think, uh, is this kit, this horrible kit from Southampton. Um, I don't know what they're playing at here. I mean, first of all, red and white stripes are never particularly popular with me, for obvious reasons, being a Newcastle supporter, but uh, it isn't really that that's the problem with the Southampton kit. It's the fact that... Um, the, the, the stripes are too thick. I don't really like kits with really thick stripes. But also, what is this weird black thing at the top? Like, it's absolutely dreadful. It's like they've just ran out of red and white material, so they've gone, I oh, will just patch it with a bit of black. It's dreadful. Awful kit. Definitely bottom of the pile. So number 19 is a kit that's inspired by a stadium. It's in inspired by Chelsea's own stadium, Stamford Bridge, and... To be honest, Stamford Bridge is a bit of a dump, so why would you want to model a kit on it? I don't know. Um, the shirt's hideous. It's absolutely dreadful. Um, and it's so hideous, in fact, that Eden Hazard uh, left the club soon after because he refused to wear it. At number 18, uh, we've got Sheffield United. Again, red and white stripes. It's got a horrible round neck, and just no, it's just not a nice kit, and it's just it's just a bit plain and boring and dull. Number 17, Crystal Palace. Now, maybe it's the blue and red combination. I'm not a massive fan of that personally. Um, it, could be, but it could be the weird pinstripe that this kit's got going on, or the weird big sponsor on it, which a lot of kits have these days, and uh, we'll talk about a bit more about that with the next kit that's coming up. But just generally, it's not a great kit, I don't think. Maybe Crystal Palace fans, you love it. Let me know. For me, it's a, it's a no, I don't like it. At number 16 is Brighton. Um, this is just naff, isn't it? It looks like a really cheap kind of uh, conference club kit or something, or one that your Sunday League team would wear. But this is kind of not really a good design on it. It's just, it's just not very good. It just, it just doesn't look like a Premier League quality kit. It's very plain, very boring. Not a fan at all. And at number 15 is my own club, Newcastle United. Um, as I mentioned earlier, thick stripes just don't do it for me at all. So thick stripes on a Newcastle kit is, is a no-no. Um, the round collar as well, I'm not a fan of. It's meant to be, it's meant to be influenced by the 1969 Fairs Cup kit. That's very tenuous. Um, the round collar kind of works in that respect. I don't know, it's just not a great kit. The logo is horrendous on it. It's If it was colour matched, then it would the kit would be way better, but it's it's just dreadful. Um, and the blue and with the black and white stripes doesn't work at all. Um, the, to be fair, the junior kit without a sponsor on is, is better. Uh, it looks kind of clean and nice, but for me, the, the, the fat stripes ruin it. I just don't like that on a Newcastle top. Number 14, Aston Villa. Um, Three teams playing Claret and Blue, Villa are obviously one of them. For me, that's the worst out of the three kits that are Claret and Blue, and um, this is weird. I mean, what's Tyron Mings doing here? He looks like he's stuck for change or something at the train station, he can't get home. Um, maybe he's calling for his girlfriend to bring him some or something, I don't know, but he's uh, he's not. No one's obviously helping him with the, with the kit he's wearing. And at 13, we've got Norwich City. It's a slightly darker yellow. Um, to be perfectly honest, this guy doesn't look particularly convinced by it either, does he? Um, they've had worse in the past, but you know, it's just, it's not a great kit. And in 12, we've got Burnley, another claret and blue kit. Slightly better than Villa's in my opinion. Um, but it's a bit plain, it's a bit dull. Um, these guys here, of course, just casually hanging out in an empty stadium, as you do. At 11, we have Watford. Now, Watford, um, they have an Adidas kit and Adidas, in my opinion, make the best kits. And this is the lowest placed Adidas kit in the whole, whole division. And it's not actually that it's terrible, it's actually not a bad shirt. But I, I kind of, the half and half thing is a bit unusual for Watford, I'm not used to that. And having half of it completely black, 
and yeah, it's kind of, it's okay, it doesn't really work that well. Um, I think if it had been stripes, it would have been a much higher kit. I think uh, the three stripes have added, that's just always looks quality though. So, so fair play to Watford for that. At number 10, we've got Spurs. Um, okay, it's white. You know, I mean, what can you do with a white kit, really? Um, it's hard to go wrong with that, but then it's also hard to get excited about a white kit, too. Um, the red logo, there's a bit of um, controversy over the red logo, obviously for obvious reasons, with Arsenal being their closest neighbours, but actually I think it kind of lifts the shirt in a, in a weird way. I think it doesn't look too bad, and, you know, it's a nice, clean Nike kit. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty decent. Number nine, Bournemouth. Um, yeah, just kind of nice kit. Uh, it's got good side. I love the side stripes on the on the um, on this kit, and the textured look on the normal stripes is uh, is great. Uh, it's really simple, but just a nice a nice top. Uh, black and red uh, is a much nicer combination than uh, red and white, in my opinion. Number eight, we've got the champions, Man City. Um, Hard to get too excited about a light blue kit, if I'm honest. Um, and I'm and I'm not 100% sure that the purple works fully on this 125th anniversary kit. But you know, it's a clean, smart kit, and um, it's it's not the worst one Man City have ever had. Um, so yeah, it's okay. At number seven, Manchester City's city rivals, Manchester United. Um, this uh, this is a kit that's kind of spoiled by a sponsor, to be honest. I can't stand the Chevrolet sponsor. I think it's a really, really bad logo, and they have it on so massively. It's just not great. Um, but again, it's an Adidas kit, so therefore it is quality, and it it does actually look like a really good shirt. At number six, we've got last year's runners-up, Liverpool. Um, I like the darker reds that they've gone for. I think that kind of works better for Liverpool kits. Um, I'm not keen on pinstripes, to be honest, so, so that doesn't do it for me massively. But it is a nice kit, and and it'll and it'll look really good on the pitch with 11 players playing in it. I'm absolutely positive of that. It kind of looks quite classy. Number five, Everton. Um, now this is not bad at all. Um, Chelsea really should have taken note on how to let your stadium influence your kit. So Everton have let their ground inspire their kit a bit like Chelsea have. But whereas Chelsea went for the kind of bus seat approach, Everton have just gone for a much more uh, minimalist version of that. And, and it pays off massively. I really, really like Everton's kit. I think it looks smart and one of the best kits in the league, no doubt about it. Number four, the third claret and blue shirt. And this is West Ham. Now, this is controversial, I think, because some people really like this and some people don't really, you sort of really don't like this. Um, I quite like it. I think it's bold to go for this kind of retro design. I love the clean lines on it. Um, it's a really nice throwback style, but it's got like a modern twist. I think it will look really great on the pitch again, this kit. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of West Ham's kit. I think it's really, really, really decent. At number three, we've got another Adidas kit. Um, in fact, the top three are all Adidas kits. I'm not normally a massive fan of Wolves kits, if I'm honest. I don't particularly like the gold and black thing, but I do think this one looks really pretty good. I really like the textured look, and I really like the black stripes on the side. Um, Adidas, like I said, Adidas just make quality kits. There's just no getting away from it. They make the best kits. And uh, Wolves is is a really nice, really nice kit. At number two, we've got Leicester. And again, just really classy looking kit, this one. I love the, the blue and the gold. I love the contrast of those colours. I think it looks amazing. And I think if I was a Leicester fan, I would absolutely be buying that kit. It's, it's just one of... You know, Leicester have had some really ropey kits over the years, but this one for me is absolutely one of their best ones. It's it's brilliant. I love it. Um, obviously, I'll never buy one, but it is a really nice looking kit. And at number one, that only leaves one team, of course, and that is Arsenal. And um, the first time I saw the leaked pictures for this kit, I just was blown away by how nice it was. Um, there's no getting away from it. Arsenal have, without doubt, by some distance, the best kit in the league this season. There's just there's just no getting away from it. The Adidas stripes, the design, the clean look, the, the sponsor's great. Everything about this kit is brilliant. Um, unfortunately for Arsenal, their team probably won't match it, but you know, Arsenal fans can certainly be pleased with the top that they'll be wearing this season, because it is, it is fantastic. So there we have it, uh, my quick video on Premier League home kits. Let me know what you think. If you've liked this video, please check out my other stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon for updates on this channel. 
But more importantly, please comment below. What do you think? What's your favourite kit in the Premier League this season? And what do you think about where I put your team's kit if you're a Premier League team supporter? Let me know. I'd love to chat with you about this and perhaps you'll put me in my place if I've said your team's kit's horrible. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time for another video.